There's a wide gap between U.S. assessments of such casualties and non-governmental reports. Nevertheless, it is a hard fact that U.S. strikes have resulted in civilian casualties, a risk that exists in every war. And for the families of those civilians, no words or legal construct can justify their loss. For me and those in my chain of command, those deaths will haunt us as long as we live. What does it mean to be haunted by loss? बस जब अकेला होता है तो तबीयत खराब होता है लेकिन जब किसी के साथ होता है दोस्तों के साथ तो बस थोड़ा अच्छा होता है ये छोटी बच्ची बहुत याद आती उस पर बहुत प्यार थी So the story isn't so much about the dead. It's the way they haunt the living. The way they linger. The way they hang on. The US began bombing Pakistan in 2004. Now it's 9 years later, and the American conversation on drone attacks is only just beginning. I've lived most of my life moving between America and Pakistan. One sees itself as the center of the world, and the other is on the margins. But Vazidistan, where most of the drones attack, is at the margins of that margin. Like so many Americans and Pakistanis, I knew very little about the place. Vazidistan is part of what's called the federally administered tribal areas, or FATA. It's in Pakistan, and it borders Afghanistan. and it has been bombed before nearly 100 years ago by the british when they occupied india the british used the tribal areas as a buffer zone they bombed it to suppress rebellion they called it air policing they said there was no law here so force was necessary Vazidistan is only a day's drive from the capital. The checkpoints dot the border. No one can go there independently. Pakistan's security forces have killed many people here. The insurgents have too. And now, the American drones are doing the killing. When it comes to language, nobody describes the insurgents or the Pakistani military's tactics as precise. But that very word precise is often thrown around in discussions about the American drone program. These attacks are described as neat surgical tactics in precision-based warfare. They seem to suggest that killing can be like surgery. You can take out the bad without disturbing the good. No consequences for anyone. No sorrow. No loss. They promise a death that isn't a death at all. And that's why drones are becoming acceptable among Americans as a way to kill in Yemen, in Somalia, and in Pakistan. And Vazidistan? Vazidistan is made to seem a world away. So how could I be haunted by what I didn't know? Ghosts can only haunt if we feel their presence. And the dead can only persist if the living can recall them. Karim first made that world real to me. I met him in 2011. Here's me playing a radio story I had done about him. Since 2004, they're controlled by the CIA and they're supposed to be secret. The US doesn't confirm or deny the strikes and it generally doesn't release information on who's been killed. the local and international media 
2009 को मेरे घर हुजरे के ऊपर ड्रोन का अटैक हो गया था जिसमें मेरे भाई और बेटे शहीद हो गए बेटे का नाम हाफिज इलुना था और भाई का आसिफ इकबाल नाम था तीसरा एक और बंदा था जो कि मिस्त्री था पाकिस्तानी था और लकी मरवत से उसका ताल्लुक था नाम खरीद था दोनों के तबोत एक ही साथ रखे हुए थे घर में तो वो बिल्कुल जख्म से चोर चोर थे तो इसके बाद मलबे से कुछ इनकी उंगला भी मिली है बाद में तो बेटे का आपको पता है आप जो कुरान था और एक गर्ल स्कूल में चौकीदार रहा वो चौकीदार था और ट्रेन के लिए वो तैयारी कर रहा था भाई जो था वो उसमें एम ए इंग्लिश किया था निमल से और गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लाई था वो जो था एक तो डिबेट का बहुत शौकीन था डिबेट लेकिन बार का दोस्त का छोटा था तो जो डाइस था उसके बिल्कुल नीचे होता था इस तरह उसको ज़्यादातर मौका नहीं देते थे तकरीर करने के लेकिन बार तकरीर करने का बड़ा वो शौक रखता था आई मेट सदाम कपल ऑफ यूर्स लाइटर ही स्कूल गोइंग टीन एजर विद स्माइल एंड He was sleeping next door. ये रात के वक्त नौ बजे पे हुआ है हमारे घर पे आपके घर पे हाँ और कौन फौत हुआ है इसमें इसमें मेरी एक भाभी और एक बच्ची जी शहीद हो गई दोनों हमला हुआ था माँ ने कहा कि भाभी को बुलाओ मैंने कहा तुम जाओ मैं भाभी को बुला था मुझे चुपे पता चल गया कि बस भाभी तो शहीद हो गई है मैं माँ को नहीं बता रहा था इसलिए कि माँ पे रोजी तो इसके बाद मेरा भाई उधर दूसरे उजरे से आया और कहा कि क्या हुआ मैंने कहा ड्रोन हुआ है उसने कहा उसने अपनी छोटी बच्ची की मुझसे पूछा मैंने कहा कि वो जिंदगी जिंदा है जब थोड़ी देर बाद पता चल गया तो उसकी हालत बहुत ख़राब हो गई हमने उसे अस्पताल ले गया उस पर के नोले ड्रिप भी लगाए कई दिन बाद हमने पेशावर से भेज दिए उधर डॉक्टर ने कहा दवाई भी लिख लिया थोड़ा अच्छा हो गया उसे दिस इज पाकिस्तान एंड दिस इज अमेरिका वट इफ समन ब्रॉड डेस्ट योर होम टाउन दैट्स वजीरिस्तान And that's New Jersey. It's where I grew up. We moved there after a military dictator began destroying Pakistani society. The events that would force my family out would also wound Vizitistan. Mr. Bhutto ki hukumat khatam ho chuki hai. Sare mulk mein mashallah nafiz kar diya gaya hai. Qaumi aur subai assemblyan tod di gayi hain. That man was General Zia ul Haq. Those were the 1980s. Pakistan's tribal areas were being used as a staging ground for the American war against the Soviet Union. We have the six from the Afghanistan freedom fighters. There's a man here whose wife was killed in front of their two children. Not one who lost his brother in the tunnel. They're still losing brothers. Vizitistan is only half the size of New Jersey. How would it feel if bombs rained over New Jersey for 9 years? Would you be frightened? if they killed your son your cousin or your husband and got away with it would you be angry you probably couldn't forget about it if you tried you'd be haunted the british thought you were all savages now the americans think you're all militants 
Uh, Chris Woods, can you talk more about the redefinition of civilians uh, outlined in the New York Times piece, uh, President Obama embracing this disputed measure of counting civilian casualties, in effect counting all military age males in a strike zone as combatants? This revelation really is extraordinary that any adult male killed in, in a, effectively a defined kill zone is a terrorist unless posthumously proven otherwise. The U.S. drone strike that's killed eight alleged militants along the Afghanistan-Pakistan border. A U.S. drone strike on suspected Islamist militants in northwest Pakistan has killed at least 10 people there. Five al-Qaeda militants were killed in the U.S. drone attack. Three U.S. drone strikes have killed five suspected al-Qaeda militants. At least 45 suspected militants have been killed by missiles launched by U.S. drone aircraft. Now they're looking around like right. this. So an airstrike on Sunday killed five alleged militants. What we do now is we find out someone having a Big Mac in Islamabad. They're out of here. These reports of these alleged deaths of children um, and innocent civilian casualties in general are complete rubbish. That's Javeria's funeral photo. She was less than a year old. The photos of many of the people living in the tribal areas don't exist, so local journalists began to take photos to document their deaths. Their deaths would have to stand in for their lives. जब वहां पर पहुंचे तो लाशें इधर-उधर बिखरी पड़ी थी और यह बच्चा भी उनके साथ ही हमले में जान बहक हो चुका था और साथ-साथ एक दो और बच्चों की लाशें वहां पर पड़ी थी दिस इज शहजाद अकबर ही इज करीम्स लॉयर दे फाइल्ड अ केस अगेंस्ट ड्रोन अटैक्स इन पाकिस्तानी कोर्ट्स ही टोल्ड मी व्हाई इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू नैरेट हिज क्लाइंट्स लाइव्स फॉर द कोर्ट एंड द मीडिया फॉर एग्जांपल यू नो व्हेन when i have a client and we want okay this was a person who was killed so we like to construct his life on photographs you know you have family photos and when he was young when he was in school when he was in teens and then he grew up and all those photos they they are missing they're not there because you know you don't have the culture of taking pictures for that matter ye waqia hai makin ka wahan par drone hamla hua tha wahan par jab main pahuncha to टोकड़े नजर आ रहे थे हाथों के पाओ के और लाशों के जब ड्रोन हमला हो जाता है तो फौरन रिपोर्ट आ जाता है कि इनमें इस हमले में इतने दहशत गर्द मारे गए हालांकि वहां पर सिर्फ ये टोकड़े होते हैं और ये लाशों के टुकड़े होते हैं और ये लाशों के टुकड़े वहां पर लाकर किसी तरह पर भी लोगों को मालूम नहीं होता कि आया इन हमलों में कितने लोग जान बहक हो चुके हैं जो जो मीडिया में गलत रिपोर्ट आती है उसकी वजह ये होता है हमारे पाकिस्तानी गवर्नमेंट है अभी ये तो इतिहादी फौज का अपने आप को फ्रंट लाइन समझ रहे हैं वो सिर्फ इसके लिए आएंगे कि देखेंगे कि ये पूरा तबाह हैं इनके टुकड़े टुकड़े हुए हैं या जिसम सालम है वो तो इसके लिए I asked Saifullah Khan Mehsood to explain the Pakistani government's relationship to the tribal areas. Saifullah Khan is a researcher at the Fatah Research Center. He's from South Waziristan himself. Fatah is like the federally administered tribal areas. I mean it's governed by a uh, an archaic law that was introduced by British in that area known as the Frontier Crime Regulation Act. So it's still that system whereby you know the president the governor on behalf of the president appoints a political uh, you know agent in that area you know the office of the political agent basically you know has all the judicial the legislative the legislative the, the executive and the judicial power you know in his hands in the, in in the hands of the political agent so you know there is absolutely no accountability if a political agent you know kind of comes up and makes a decision you know a judicial decision or any kind of decision there is no other authority no body there available which can actually hold him accountable 
People in the tribal areas call this colonial era system the Black Laws. Under these laws, people living in the tribal areas didn't even get the right to vote till 1996. So the tribal areas are a political category, a place haunted by its past. It just means a place where colonial laws still exist and the Pakistani constitution doesn't apply. A place with at least four different kinds of security forces, from militias to the army. The Pakistani state still claims there is no law here, so force is necessary. It means a place that's kept invisible. And that's been to the advantage of the U.S. and the Pakistani army. America has paid billions to the Pakistani security forces. Together, they've used Pakistan, and especially Waziristan. During the Cold War, it was to battle communism and to fund and train the Mujahideen. This is a training camp for Afghan guerrillas or Mujahideen. These camps aren't supposed to exist on Pakistan soil, a contradiction which is circumvented not very neatly by the technical point that they are in an area only partly controlled by Pakistan, the tribal areas near the border with Afghanistan. Now it's to support the US as it occupies Afghanistan. So America, the Pakistani security forces, and the insurgents they've created, they're linked. And for decades, they've been destroying Waziristan together. And now, America's just blowing the place up. The reason? They say there's no law here, and force is necessary. So neither conventional military action, nor waiting for attacks to occur, offers moral safe harbor. And neither does a sole reliance on law enforcement in territories that have no functioning police or security services, and indeed have no functioning law. Three, two, one. But this is not a cry for pity or for sympathy. Abuse, Abu Kanam Sana, Tora Tora 
خراب ہوتا ہے بہت سے لوگوں کی ماں خراب ہے پشاور آتے ہیں نا ادھر سے جب وہ نزدیک نزدیک آتی ہے تو ہم بس کمرے چلے جاتے ہیں دروازے بند کرتے کہ اس کی آواز نہ آئے بہت برا لگتا ہے اس کی آواز بہت برا لگتا ہے نور بہرام ہیڈ شوڈ می فوٹوز آف دا ڈیڈ بٹ آئی وانٹ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ ہاؤ دے کم ٹو ہانٹ دا لونگ آئی اسپوک وتھ ڈاکٹر جاوید اختر ہیز اے سائکائٹرسٹ لاٹس آف پیپل ہو سفر فرام دا وائلنس ان وزیرستان کم ٹو ہم ہی ڈنٹ وانٹ ٹو اپیئر آن کیمرا بٹ ہی ٹول می اباؤٹ ہاؤ دا بامنگ امپیکٹس پیپل لیکن اس وقت یہاں پر جو واقعات ہو رہے ہیں اور اسپیشلی جو ڈرون حملوں میں کے واقعات ہو رہے ہیں وہ بالکل آؤٹ آف بلو ایک ہی سیکنڈ کے اندر ادھر سے ادھر ہو جاتا ہے معاملہ پھر جو اس کے اندر اوڑ گیا ہے نہ اس کو سینے سے لگایا جا سکتا ہے نہ اس وقت اسے پکڑ کر رویا جا سکتا ہے نہ اس کو وہ کیا جا سکتا ہے تو وہ جو جس پر یہ جو رشتہ دار ہے بھائی ہے بہن ہے بیوی جو ہے اس کو یہ سمجھ نہیں آتی کہ میں کیا کروں کس کو سینے کے ساتھ لگاؤں کلوزر اس کو نہیں ملتا So what does it mean to be haunted by loss? Just as we are haunted by the civilian casualties that have occurred throughout conventional fighting in Afghanistan and Iraq. But as commander in chief, I must weigh these heartbreaking tragedies against the alternatives. There is no escape for the haunted. In the face of terrorist networks, there are no alternatives for the haunted. The loss lingers, the sorrow persists. At home and our facilities abroad, but also in the very places like Sanaa. In a haunted land, the dead do not exist among the living. The living exist among the dead. Yaar, I'm a apni jaan bahut bura lag raha hai ki tumhare baap ki shaadi hai, tum kya zinda hai? تم بھی مر جاؤ اگر ہم اسی دن مر جاتے تو بہت اچھی بات ہوتی بس میں ہم اس میں یہ افسوس کرتے کہ کاش میں بھی اس میں شاہد ہوتا ابھی اس زندگی سے تو مرنا چاہے آپ یہ بات کیوں اس لیے کہتے کہ ہم ابھی تنگ چکے ہیں اس ڈرون سے اس لوگوں کی بے گناہ شہادت سے ہم تنگ چکے کہ لوگوں کو بے گناہ شہید کرتے اس لیے ہمیں اپنی زندگی پسند نہیں اسکول پڑھتے لیکن ایسا نہیں پڑھتے کہ دل لگا کے پڑھ ابھی سنتا ہے ادھر رن ہوا ہے تو پھر بس ہمارا دل سارا دن خراب ہوتا ہے اگر خوف ہے بھی تو کیا کریں کیا ہم اس علاقے سے بھاگ جائیں گے اپنے گھر بار اپنی زمین جائیداد سب کو چھوڑیں گے نہیں یہ تو نہیں ہو سکتا Thank you.